As Jenna says, can one use check for school assignments that they're stuck on? Not copying a verbatim, but looking at similar worksheets where the numbers are different, but you see the steps in which a specific problem is solved, thus solving your very own question on your own based on the observed steps from a similar problem. I don't see a problem in that. I don't see a problem in that, but do note that when it comes to assignments and seeking knowledge in general, it's not a good thing to take shortcuts. And this is a shortcut. It's not good. It will be detrimental to you in the long term, especially if it's a subject that you want to pursue as a, as a specialty in the future. You, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. You might not feel it today, but you'll feel it in a few years' time. Right? And so uh, if the subject is something that you don't really care about or you don't really see it as being part of your future, then yeah, there's no problem in doing something like this. If it's just a homework, you don't give a, a damn about the subject in general, and that might be the case in for some people in certain subjects, they don't like maths, for example, but they have to do it because it's part of their GCSE or something like that or whatever it is. And so they just want to get through this GCSE and they don't care about this stuff when they, when they graduate and they're not going to spend their life doing it and it's not going to be a specialty for them. Then something like this is something which you can do, you know, just to make sure that you, you can then focus on what it is you actually want to do in life and get this out of the way. And you're not actually cheating here anyway because as you can as, as check works, check only gives you a template in terms of a different question but the steps that you can follow, which you can then apply to your own question, there's still work you have to do anyway. Uh, so I, don't, I wouldn't consider this a problem, right? However, uh, the next part of the question, in a separate case, if I, if I had intended to cheat, but time ran out and I thus changed my mind, do I still get a sin of cheating or will I not be sinful as I did not act upon it? So it depends upon what type of, yani, uh, of course there are different levels and I have a thread on this on my Twitter page and I might post it as an answer, or as an attachment to the answer, inshallah, on the five varying levels. Right, and uh, you can refer back to them, inshallah ta'ala. But to bring it to your question, if you intended good and you had azim to do good and something stopped you from doing it, then you get a reward for that. Likewise, and then famous hadith, right? And if he yeah, has that ham, of course, ham is a higher level than. Yeah, and this is yeah, you actually have the will, right? Sometimes there's a mujarat khatara which comes into your mind and uh, it just pops into your mind and it goes out again. But sometimes people have hem, they have actually will to do uh, and a yearning to do a certain act. So if you yearn and you have the hem to do a sanya, but then yeah, you left it for Allah Azza wa Jalla, then you'll be rewarded for that. And if you had hem for something and you uh, didn't act upon it, not due to Allah uh, or fear of Allah, but due to, مثلاً, as you mentioned the question here, Time ran out, so I was trained in my mind, I couldn't do it. Then in this case, we'll say that you won't have any sin written upon you, but you won't have also a reward for leaving that. You won't have a reward for leaving that sin. طيب, or leaving that hem behind. Taib, Allah Ta'ala, Adam. So that's